what can we draw from Kissinger that, that he did, that he executed really well uh, over the course of his time as a national security advisor and, and, and secretary of state? What I had not seen or crystallized until reflecting on many of Kissinger's negotiations, looking across a bunch of them rather than in depth at each one in particular, is that Kissinger consistently would zoom out, if you will, to a larger sort of analytic and strategic view of the situation. And then he would zoom in, and he would zoom into the person, and he would zoom back out and in, almost effortlessly, bringing the uh, the sort of macro and micro together and uh, in service of the, the interests that he was seeking to, uh, to advance through negotiation. And what I've seen are some utterly remarkable sort of strategic negotiators, big picture thinkers who, um, who are very good at that level, but interpersonally either don't give it much credence, aren't very good at it, or for whatever reason, focus more on the analytical and the strategic and the large picture. And then there's some people who are fantastic interpersonally but really don't have a very keen strategic or a long-term sense. And I noticed in Kissinger's negotiation, this continually zooming out to the strategy, zooming into the person, and being very effective at both levels and at bringing them into alignment. 